session of the new directors, our guest has a vision of what it's like to be yourself and to shed light on what it's like to be comfortable in doing the things you love. From creating his own content to making memories with, his, with friends, his goal is to try to inspire others to bask in their hobbies and live life to the fullest and not, and, and not, to, have, not to worry about what others might think of you. The Humanities Mass Communication Department at Noah Community College presents The New Director, the show that introduces you to television's future writers, directors, and personalities. And now, join our host, Kadeem Graham, to meet the next New Director. Thank you for joining us on today's edition of the New Directors. All of the people involved with this program are students in the television production course that are, that are directing, switching, controlling audio, operating cameras, and acting as talent for the first time today. The guests you will meet on this show are students who, when not, behind, when not on camera, are behind the scenes working hard to bring this program to you with as few mistakes as possible. Each student has written and directed four, diff four different productions. This program will give them the chance to talk about themselves and the, pro the productions they've created and give you the chance to know and enjoy some of the work they've done during the semester. Our guest today is a student who enjoys creating content for YouTube, hanging out with friends, and living life to its fullest. We would like you to meet Richard Vargas. How's it going? Thanks for having me. So tell us a little bit about yourself and your interests. So um, some of my interests, as uh, was made evident in that uh, opening, uh, I like creating you know, content for YouTube and everything like that. Um, bought a couple of clips and everything as well. But yeah, I mean, for a while, like a couple of years, I've just been you know, um, filming videos with like, friends and whatnot. Um, family and everything you know we used to have like a camcorder mm. like this old clunky one with like VHS tapes oh. that we used to use like back um, in like family parties and everything like that and like I, we used to like kind of take turns as using it and everything like that so one of the clips here actually is uh, a couple of years ago a couple of my friends and I we decided to try and make like a, a short little fan film and everything like that um, it didn't go the, gra the greatest, but you know what, it, it is what it is. It was a fun experience and everything like that. We literally just used whatever equipment that we had and everything. And then uh, a couple other things about myself as well is I like collecting like movies and stuff like that as well. Um, just showing off like a bit of my collection or whatever. Um, yeah, yeah. So um, that kind of came from like my cousins and everything because he was like a huge like movie nerd as well. Um, and I also like working out as well. Um, whenever I get the chance to, uh, my cousin and I, we recently just started handling the gym not too long ago. So, um, and then a little bit back to like that project that like we filmed or whatever, that was some of the stuff that um, we did too. Did not come out the greatest, but you know what? It is what it is. You know, we had fun with it. It was, it was a lot of fun, but um, yeah, and then again, just sh I wanted to show off a couple of different things that like I do and everything like that. Um, this is a video that I shot with my cousin um, he's like a dancer and everything like that. So we literally like filmed it in like two days. We got like a whole bunch of B-roll and everything like that. And then mm -hmm. we were trying to look for like a good place to just film it. Um, just again, we were always just out trying to like test our abilities and see what we can do. And even though like some of it was very amateurish or some of them, I guess, accidentally came out decent, mm -hmm. you know, we were still trying and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, it was just something that like I enjoyed doing, you know, and I like relishing and like having like a hobby and everything. And whenever I converse with people, I try and push them to like, you know, keep going with like their hobbies and everything. My girlfriend, she likes painting and I'm telling her like paint, like keep going, you know what I mean? Just, you know, it just gives you something to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Um, what, what was it that drew you to the TV production course? So number one, um, I really wanted to learn more than whatever I learned on my own. Um, I took a couple of TV classes in high school, a um, couple of editing classes here and there, and we primarily use like iMovie there, but mm. I wanted to like learn different projects and everything like that. Um, and then here, you know, you can see uh, the first project that we did, which was the student studies. Um, and um, yeah, I just really wanted to learn more about different 
projects and everything. I dabbled a little bit with like Adobe Premiere. It was like a bit confusing. I used Sony Vegas once and then Final Cut Pro once. Um, and again, it was just something that I wanted to get, like take more in, you know what I mean? Um, so here we did the Cup of Tea project as well. And I felt like as I kept going, like it was, a, I guess, better quote, like air quotes. Um, but again, like I wanted to learn also other techniques as well to use instead yeah. of just putting camera on tripod, getting this shot, getting that shot. Yeah, you know, you want to learn tripod. exactly. You want to learn different techniques or like getting like these amateur pans and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Like we learn like the poor man's dissolve and like um, a couple other different techniques, which I'm drawing a blank on the names, of course. Um, but yeah, we use one of the techniques as well in the nature project. Um, so again, it was just stuff that like I wanted to get under my belt and just, again, try and uh, get a bit of a handle on it. And it's something that like I've always had like an interest in as well. I would like to try and make it a something that's like a future career and stuff like that. So it's definitely good to get, you know, all of that knowledge. And um, here was the Orange Project. And again, it was just kind of fun, you know, learning different things and whatnot. And Avid is quite a complex program and being able to see what you can do in that as well. So, um, yeah, and, and, you know, kind of wrapping up that question, I feel like, you know, wanting, like, having that curiosity of wanting to check out the course, I feel like it's definitely, like, satisfied that. How do you think you apply what you learn today in the semester towards the future? Um, again, I mean, just to reiterate what I said, you know, picking up camera, getting this shot, doing these terrible looking pans where like you see like the, the tripod moving, you mm. know, you want to be able to get these different techniques that you can use for like, say, you know, some of the film projects that like was just shown like my friends and I just going out in the woods and filming for like a couple of days or whatever, you know yeah. what I mean? And like being able to get like better shots and everything like that, make your, your projects look better. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So definitely want to try and use that to my advantage, um, whether for it's for personal projects or even in the future for future classes as well. So, Can you tell us a bit about your student studies, Cup of Tea, Nature and Orange Project? Absolutely, yeah. Again, about some footage here, so if we can um, just roll it. Um, but for the student studies, um, I definitely feel like that was kind of like my uh, weakest one. Um, and then, uh, again, kind of just kind of progressively got better and everything like that. But for the student studies, um, this one, I don't know, I kind of had like a bit of a... Not a bit of a hard time, but like I did the projects pretty much all by myself. I didn't have like an act or anything like that or anybody to really help me out. So I guess that's what the um, challenging project, I mean, the challenging aspect about it was. Um, but then with the uh, cup of tea, I felt like it was, you know, kind of getting better and everything like that. I think I got a little bit used to just working by myself. So. You know, it was kind of fun to kind of develop, you know, utilizing, you know, just working by yourself, you know what yeah. I mean? Um, Were you by yourself for all four of your projects? Yeah, all four of my projects, I was all by myself. But it, it kind of helped, you know, challenge me, you yeah. know? So then I was able to you know to what to do. get everything done. Exactly. you got to do the acting and the directing. Exactly. So it was kind of fun in that regard, but also a bit stressful. Because you're relying on yourself, yeah. you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, like, that challenge kind of ultimately made it that much more worthwhile, you know what I mean? Because then it really helps you get better, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So the Nature Project, I felt like that was definitely, like, my weakest as far as, like, the Student Studies one. Um, and then the Orange Project, I kind of just had fun with it. I feel like everybody did, you know what I mean? Because it's just a silly concept, so... You just really kind of, I don't know, go all out, I guess. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that, that one was definitely, like, the one I was looking forward to filming the most. You know what I mean? Even though, again, like, I was by myself. I'm just like, I'm just going to have a ball with it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So by that point, I was like, all right, you know what? I'm used to it. You know, let's just keep you know, going with it. So it was, it was a lot of fun. Out of all the projects you've done, 
Can you please tell us about which one you felt was your best one? Definitely. I, I definitely feel like it was the Orange Project for sure. Uh, just to kind of backtrack to what I said again, um, it was just a lot of fun to film. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Again, you take a silly concept about like an orange, you can pretty much do essentially whatever you wanted to. And I kind of wanted to go like a horror element, but I was like, what am I going to do? So I was like, let me just make like something basic, but like, you know, kind of, I guess, keep it funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so again, I definitely feel like this was my best project because again, like I was saying, since I was alone, since I was doing X, Y, and Z by myself, by the time I got to the Orange Project, I was like, okay, I already pretty much have work. it down. You know what I mean? So at that point, it was, again, it was just a lot of fun. Um, kind of feel like I'm rambling here or whatever, but I don't know. Yeah, there was just uh, something about it that I enjoyed a lot more as opposed to like the other ones. And you see here, the uh, orange decides to chill the banana. Um, and I'm very distraught, unfortunately. And by that point, I just had enough. And I decided to take out my frustration on the uh, banana and the orange. But yeah, again, that's, that's, you know, that's why it was like so much fun. You know what I mean? Uh, so. Yeah. It's tight, it's tight. Today we got to meet someone who shared with us the wonders of his person personality and hobbies. As a new director, he hopes to apply what he has learned here at NCC to continue to create better content. He also plans to use his knowledge from TV One to not only continue making his own videos, but in hopes of inspiring others along the way. We would like, we would like to thank Richard Vargas for joining us today. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Wow. Uh, we hope you enjoyed we hope you enjoyed meeting one of today's one television's new future directors and we hope you will continue to join us each week to jo to watch our progress thank you and have a good day directed by sean Ray. i'm your announcer isa marie rodriguez the new directors is a norwalk community college student production